What are you doing in the pantry? You don't live here anymore. I'm shopping. Shopping for I have Costco? A membership card. Hello, YouTubers. Alaska Prepper here. Well, I'm at Costco again. Thought I'd stop by and see what some prices were. And you know what? For bacon, this is really not a bad price. Four bucks a pound. But I came here to pick up a few things. And in all actuality, I came up here to do a good prepping haul, ladies and gentlemen, because we need to continue to prep. Prep as much as you can. I would rather have my money in my pantry than to have it in the bank. But if you have a big box store like Costco near you, there are some places where you can save a few bucks. And as you can see, these cereal prices, if you eat these cereals, they're not really that bad. There are some specialty cereals like this that are a little bit more expensive. And if that's what you eat, ladies and gentlemen, I stand by what I always say. Go ahead and buy it and store it for long term. The main point is to go ahead and get what it is that you eat. I just had a conversation with a good friend of mine uh, and he was telling me that he had to throw away a lot of stuff that he'd gotten years ago from third party like you know dehydrated foods and stuff like that and I told him I said make sure that you always buy what you eat and eat what you buy wow look at this did you see that grape nuts are back I haven't seen a box of grape nuts in a long time and as you can see these prices some of them are good prices for what you're getting some of them maybe are a little pricey but remember that you get what you pay for but most importantly i'll say it again get what you eat ladies and gentlemen i know that you see me get a whole bunch of stuff on my payday preps and some people even say why are you putting away so much rice that's not good for you you're going to become diabetic do you really want to worry about what it is that i'm getting or worry about what it is that you're getting for you and your family don't care about what someone else tells you ladies and gentlemen if they don't pay your bills if they don't feed your family then go ahead and just dismiss what they're saying because it is your children that are counting on you to make sure that they have full bellies now take a look at this I haven't seen this product here before this says ancient grains now this looks pretty healthy I'm not sponsored by Costco ladies and gentlemen although I probably should be by now uh, but if you want to get your quinoa, get your quinoa. Instead of putting away rice in those 2-liter bottles, put away quinoa in your 2-liter bottles if that's what you're going to eat. But the important part is put it away. Right? If you want to get hemp hearts and put away hemp hearts, I don't know what this is. or And I've, and I've never had it before. But if you want to eat hemp hearts, eat hemp hearts. I know I'm getting a little silly here ladies and gentlemen but I just want to go ahead and express to you how important it is that you take this time now to go ahead and stock up. Now this pancake mix right here went up in price. I know that it used to be six dollars and change. Let's go ahead and take a look at what other things have gone up in price that I can uh, recognize. Now I know these went up in price. These used to be like in the five dollar range which was a great deal. And even at seven dollars and change it's still not a terrible deal and we do need our comfort foods ladies and gentlemen uh, these ones right here just happen to be the no sugar added and then these ones here are the ones with regular sugar and this coffee right here believe it or not pretty good I remember when it used to be less than ten dollars though so get your coffee now I'm not sure how many of you have heard or have seen the video that I put out that coffee in itself is going to become very very expensive we have a very big deficit of coffee in the world. I believe that it was Brazil or Colombia. They had a major freeze that killed a lot of their crop. And the world is about 3 million bags of coffee short. And the eggs, ladies and gentlemen, they haven't really gone up in price too much. These organic eggs here went up in price a little bit. The milk's gone up in price about a dollar per two gallon pack. So that's about 50 cents a gallon. And the butter, get ready for a price shock on butter look at that 25 percent increase actually a 26 percent increase in the price of butter i remember when this butter used to be less than ten dollars and i remember when it used to be less than seven dollars 6.99 now this butter ladies and gentlemen i have to tell you it is a great deal for what you're getting this is that butter that's made in new zealand which is just as good i would say if not better than the butter that's made in ireland and the half and half, as you can see, has also gone up in price. It went up in price about 50 cents. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some Impossible Burgers, ladies and gentlemen, because I heard that these are delicious. And don't they look good? 
<laughs> I'm just kidding, ladies and gentlemen. I will not be getting those, and I'm not judging anyone that does. If you want to eat an Impossible Burger, knock yourself out. This pasta right here, not a terrible price, but it is a great pasta. But if you want to get the most bang for your buck, this is what I would get right here. And look at this. These used to be $9.99. Now they're 25% more expensive. Remember when the 25 pound bag of beans used to be about 15, 16 bucks? Well, not anymore. And this right here is my favorite rice to get. I like to call it sticky rice. And it's not that expensive, but it's a little pricier than long grain rice at 35 bucks for a 50 pound bag. This right here is probably the best deal you're gonna get, but they did come back with the 50 pound bag. So for a 25 pound bag, you're paying almost $14. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen, they have the 50 pound bag of rice back at Costco. And for this, you're going to end up paying $26, which is still about $5 more than what it normally was. This is also Carol's rice. This rice, in my opinion, is just as good as the first one that I showed. And this one is $37. So i rather get the other one. To me, they have the same amount of quality. They're both just as good. And you all know that the chicken has gone up everywhere. Where this chicken used to be about ten dollars and i think 89 cents now it's 15.69 if you're looking for some tuna albacore tuna in my opinion this is the best that there is it's a little pricey at 15.49 but it is really good quality and i have to get the vienna sausages ladies and gentlemen 8.99 they went up about a dollar a pack but i do have to get some of these because victor is coming over and he's going to go shopping in my pantry, so I have to replace the ones he's going to take. So I think two of them will have to do for now. And they did come back with the pulled pork, but at an elevated price. The four cans of pulled pork, $11.49, ladies and gentlemen. They used to be less than $10. And for your Bush's beans, they're up to $10.69. And look at this. I don't know why people do this. <laughs> they should just put it back where they found it. But I guess someone has to work, huh? $11.39 for the chili. And if you haven't tried that chili, very, very good quality. I really like it. And everyone in my family likes it. Now, if you are going to have to feed a lot of people, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck for these. Now, take a look at one of those small cans of corned beef hash and see how much they are compared to this. This is a great bang for your buck right here, ladies and gentlemen. $3.79 for a number 10 can of crushed tomatoes. You can easily feed 10 people if you make this into spaghetti sauce. And these are just really cool. These are just whole peaches. I've had them before. In my opinion, they are delicious, but it's not something that I eat all the time. And that's actually a pretty good price for a novelty item like that. And here are the prices of just some other things in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it home, and let me go ahead and show you my haul. Now, some of these things are definitely prep items, and some of them are just everyday items. But let me start off with showing you something that if you like yakisoba, you need to try, because I think this is so good. Every time that we go to Costco, we try to see if they have any, because they don't have them all the time. And it's one of those meal kits, and it's yakisoba. And it comes with the, with the noodles, of course, with the sauce. It comes with a really good amount of chicken, and it comes with a good amount of stir-fried vegetables that you put in there. Now, if you're gonna have this for the first time, what I would recommend is, is if you're gonna cook the entire dish in one shot, don't use all of the sauce. I would start off with like a half of one of these small containers of sauce, and then let each individual person add a little bit more if they want to add some to themselves because I think that if you put the entire sauce in there all of the sauce it'll be too strong as far as the sauce it'll add too much flavor to it which I think would ruin it but this is delicious it's uh, 1883 for this it comes in at like five dollars and 49 cents a pound so each packet is a little bit different in weight but this right here ladies and gentlemen feeds all four of us and what I mean by all four is it feeds myself, Mrs. and Miss Little Alaska Prepper, 
And then what I mean by all four, knowing that Victor is not living here anymore, is that there's always leftovers, enough for at least a full meal, if not a little bit more. All right, another thing we picked up that's not for a prep is we picked up some peppers. Tonight I am going to make for dinner, I'm going to make some penne pasta with peppers and some steak that we're going to cook up. Let's see, we picked up our half and half. And did you take a look at all the prices, ladies and gentlemen? I know I'm probably telling you this twice, but a lot of prices have really gone up. I'm sorry about the dogs barking. They're my neighbor's dogs. They're, I don't know, probably about a couple hundred meters away, but you can still hear them pretty good. But uh, yeah, prices are going up. They're going up. Let's see, we picked up some of these uh, artisan uh, organic apples, which are very nice. I really like my apples when they're nice and crispy. Picked up some strawberries. That toilet paper, by the way, that you see there, that's from the last time I went shopping. <laughs> I left it in there because that's going to go in my trailer. So I have to go and rotate it out. And uh, we picked up some of these hard-boiled eggs, which is a pretty good deal. You know, and uh, very easy. Just grab some eggs in the morning if you want them. Easy to, easy to get. And you don't have to worry about turning on the stove just to get some hard-boiled eggs. Let's see, what else did we get that's not a prep item? We got some mushrooms. We got some of these mushrooms right here. I really like mushrooms, but I don't like the mushrooms that come in the cans. I never liked those mushrooms. Picked up some peanut butter, which is uh, natural peanut butter. My wife, I don't care what kind of peanut butter I eat. I could eat anything, ladies and gentlemen. But my wife likes the natural. And this one right here seems to be pretty good, in my opinion. It's organic. And the ingredients are just dry roasted organic peanuts and sea salt. So this is for my wife's preps. Got a couple of these right there. Uh, got some onions, of course. We go through about one of these bags of onions maybe once a month or so. Picked up a couple of cases of Vienna sausages, which as you saw prior to this, that they also went up in price by a pretty good amount. Uh, and the reason I picked up a couple of cases is not because I necessarily need them, but Victor's coming over to the house. Uh, my wife and I called him and Brenna and said, why don't you guys come on over on Monday and go shopping and go grab whatever you need out of the pantry so it can fill your pantries and then we'll go ahead and fill it in. It'll be a good way to rotate some things out of there. Plus, he's the one that eats 90% of the Vienna sausages anyways. Victor, what what are you doing? We don't know what you're saying. What? I speak no English. What are you doing in here? Shut the in. What? Original. What are you doing in the pantry? You don't live here anymore. I'm shopping. Shopping for I have Costco? A membership card. Let me see. There is no no there's no sign here that says Costco. I have membership cards. See? This is not Costco's. It looks a lot like Costco. It looks like you have all the things that Costco has on shelf here. Victor, you're supposed to be shopping at Costco for food shortage. There is a okay. food shortage. I cannot shop at Costco. There's no food. I have to go to where the food is. And this is where the food is. Also picked up, ladies and gentlemen, another two cases of the chicken breast in a can. I went and took a look to see what the price was on the chicken breast, on the raw chicken breast. And it's three, still about $3 a pound. So for $3 a pound, I'd rather pick this up than to buy it and pressure can it myself. And uh, let me just show you this. This is not really a prep, but my wife, her feet really get cold a lot. I have no idea how these would work, but it's a pair of heated socks. I would never wear heated socks to tell you the truth. And the reason being is, is that I was taught in the military that whenever you're outside in real cold weather, you don't want to put something on that will make you sweat, all right? And although I know that my wife is not going to wear this to go out and chop wood or anything like that, it's probably a good application for what she's going to use it for, to is, which is just keep her feet warm. Can you tell that we live in a first world country or what? Remote control heated socks. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> and I had to bribe little Miss Alaska Prepper and I told her that if she was good, that I would go ahead and uh, get her some cookies so it's my turn to do the dishes <laughs> so they've been sitting there all day and i told little miss alaska prepper i said well if you take care of the dishes for me i'll go ahead and 
get you a nice little surprise. And she loves these cookies. She really does. So we pick her some of these up every once in a while. It's not, a, it's not an everyday thing. So this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Not a huge haul, but let me tell you what. I'm going to reiterate what I already said in the beginning of the video. Uh, I have a feeling that, you know, eventually those people that are not prepared and that are not taking it seriously, that you're going to end up paying the price. And as you already know, I kind of commandeered Victor's bedroom. So let me tell you a quick story on that one anyway. So when I told my wife, I said, um, you know what? I want to go ahead and uh, turn Victor's bedroom into another pantry. And I was expecting for her to say, no way, Jose, right? But she's like, oh, yeah, we ought to fill it up. I was like, what? Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that when I first started prepping, it's not that my wife wasn't on board, but that she really didn't know what prepping was. Right? She hadn't been really introduced to it. And uh, one of the best things that I think ever happened in our prepping journey, uh, meaning my wife and myself, is that I started this YouTube channel. And for the first three and a half years or so, I, I did my YouTube out of the living room in my house. So she was always hearing me talk to you all. She was there in the backgrounds when I when I did my live stream. So she would hear me talk to you, tell you why you need to prep and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I really think that it rubbed off, rubbed off on her. So I think that's a great thing that that happened. But now she is extremely supportive of getting prepared. And she even talks to her family. I hear her on the phone talking to her family, telling them, and her friends as well, telling them, this is why you need to prepare. You need to get this. You need to get that. And it just happens to be that for this last Christmas, we ended up giving each of her sisters a uh, perky water filtration system so now we are giving her family members preps for presents which is a great thing all right so having said that hey, i hope you enjoyed the little trip you know down uh, costco's lanes and i hope you got something out of this and if you're not preparing and i really truly do hope that you think about it because eventually everything that you just saw me get even though i have it several times over i believe that we're going to need in the future truly do ladies and gentlemen having said that have a great day today remember to be good to each other when good people do good things good things happen remember to reach one teach one and repeat if we all did this the world would be a better place and you know that it will be a better place many blessings to all of you and your families i'm alaska prepper i'm out god bless